important parts of this series is to give you opportunities to use materials that you have around the house. And so I wanted to share with you today something that I learned just very recently, but it's a great little technique and easy, easy, easy to do. So you can see here, this is the extent of my expansive garden at the present time. It's winter, and so we've just got some kale and some continental parsley and remnants of a tomato growing. Um, but at the back here, just an old shelf out of a fridge, I believe, and it's got what looks very interesting items on it. These are actually banana skins. So, for those of you who eat bananas, what you do is simply peel it into five pieces. That one's probably a better example. So, and then if you want to get that sort of an effect, then you curl the peelings around so that they dry in that fashion. Or you can leave them a bit straighter. That's actually a half a banana, that one, because I wanted some of a different size. We have bananas every couple of days, so it just means that we've got a good supply of that for me to do, use however I want. So what we're going to do is a design with these today. I've actually got, walk with me this way. I've actually got quite a few. I've actually got quite a few that I have dried over the last week or so. As you can see they're all different shapes and sizes. And whilst you could use them like that in a design as a wall hanging or as, as part of a design in some way, or they still look a bit like they're a banana skin to me, I guess because I know that's where they came from. But a little bit of introducing a little bit of colour will be interesting as well. So rather than say, oh, you have to go out and buy paint now, I thought, well, what, will I've, what have I got that others might have at home that I can use to give them a little bit of colour, a little bit of highlighting or seal them, all of those sorts of things. And I thought, ha, ah, not a great one for wearing makeup. So I generally collect stuff and it just sits around for years and years, literally years, before it ever gets used. I have quite a... Um, interesting range of nail polishes so I thought there's some clear there there's, there's this fascinating one that's all glittery colors that might be interesting too so I thought I'm going to try and paint up some of these skins give them a little bit of texture and highlighting with the nail polish so here we here we have our banana skins and I've been through the nail polishes that are on offer and I've picked out a clear which is a, a top coat type one what's called a copper colour which will go nicely with that and then a, a goldy colour as well with this one is actually coated completely because it's quite a nice colour coming up quite nicely. There's the gold and I think it'll dry nice and quickly and the, the beauty of the nail polish I think is that it's not going to be too thick a coat. You could use paint obviously but I think it might be thicker and change the dynamic of the the banana skins they're still reasonably flexible and you can hear they're quite hard but they're still movable in that sense if it was a thick coat of paint I think they'd set in those shapes so again up to you if you want to have them in that shape do it that way or use paints or something else that you might have that around the house that will give these items color I'll be back when they're all painted. So there we have two of the banana skins. I've painted one in the gold nail polish and one with the coppery colour. And for each of them I've only painted the what would have been the inside of the skin just to give it a little bit more contrast between the, the black and the other colour. And I will let them dry and then we'll start to use them in a design. So here you can see the use of the banana skins in a design, both painted types at the top and at the central area.